Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll solve uh, another profit maximization problem of a competitive firm. So, consider the following data. Suppose the production function is f k l equals k to the power 1 by 4, l to the power 1 by 4. Suppose price is 80, wage is 1, and the rental rate is 16. We want to solve for the optimal quantity supplied and the optimal capital labor employed for this firm that is interested in maximizing profit. So again, we are going to solve this problem in two steps. Uh, step one will be to solve the cost minimization problem of the firm, and then step two will be to solve the profit maximization problem. So, what is the cost minimization problem of the firm? Cost minimization problem of the firm is the following: so minimize with respect to L and K, L plus 16K subject to the constraint that K to the power 1 by 4, L to the power 1 by 4 is greater than or equal to Q. Now, we we'll solve this problem by looking at the situation in graph. This is the isocoin corresponding to Q level of output and these are the isocost curves. So the slope of the isocost curves are going to be 1 by 16, so the really really flat lines. Okay. So if you want to minimize cost then, then the solution will have the property that the slope of the isocost line will be uh, equal to the slope of the isocoin. So what is the slope of the Isocoin, so the isocoin is the ratio of the marginal products of labor and capital and uh, that is something that we can easily obtain by taking the partial derivative of uh, the production function with respect to L and K. So MPL is 1 by 4 K to the power 1 by 4 L to the power 3 by 4. Similarly, MPK is 1 by 4 L to the power 1 by 4 K to the power 3 by 4. Now if you want to find the MRTS, which is a slope, you want to get MPL by MPK, which is equal to K by L. Uh, and what is the uh, slope of the isocost line? Slope of the isocost line is 1 by 16. So, slope of the isocost line is W by R, which is equal to 1 by 16. So at the optimum, the slope of the isoquant must be equal to the slope of the isocost. So we know that K by L must be equal to 1 by 16. So L is equal to 16K. And we also know that uh, this point lies on the isoquant corresponding to Q level of output. So we also know that uh, the solution must also satisfy the following equality, which is K to the power 1 by 4, L to the power 1 by 4, equals Q. We have two equations, two unknowns, and we can solve for conditional capital and labor demands. So when you want to solve the system, we are going to get k equals q square by 4 and l equals 4 q square. So once we have this, we can uh, figure out the cost function. The cost function is cq equals wage times the labor so which is 1 times 4q squared so that's 4q squared plus the rent times uh, the, the, the capital uh, which is 16 times q squared by 4 so we are going to get 4q squared again so this is 8q squared now once we have the cost and we know the price we can solve the profit maximization problem of the firm in the usual way. So let's do that. The profit maximization problem is maximized with respect to Q. ATQ minus 8Q squared. So taking the derivative, we are going to get the marginal profit, which is equal to 18 minus 16Q. We equate it to 0. 
find the quantity at which the profit will be maximum. So we are going to get Q as 5. Labor and capital employed to achieve this level of output will be L equals 4 times Q square, which is 100, and K equals Q square by 4, which is 25 by 4. That's uh, how you solve for the optimal quantity and labor and capital employed uh, by the competitive. Thank you.